This is a Fox Sports presentation. Hey man, you better move over, that's all. Because we're here with our backs to the wall. Getting set to play some Fox Saturday baseball. Joe and Lou, Bernie and Junior, Tino and Junior. East Coast and West Coast. Playoff preview, the New York Yankees and the Seattle Mariners. Baseball's newest and best rivalry. Simply baseball like it ought to be. Down the coast, it's the Boston Red Sox and Angels from Greentown. Mighty Mo Vaughn is joined by the game's new superstar, shortstop Nomar Garcia Parra. Together, their fierce firepower delivers an offensive explosion. But these angels are mighty in their own right, as Tim Salmon and Jim Edmonds are out of sight. I feel good, and I knew that I would, because today the hardest working man in sports television is ready to roll on the one and only Fox Saturday Baseball. And welcome to the Fox Television Center. No, don't adjust the tent knob on your TV. It's all right. Yes, I'm James Brown sitting in for Chip Carey, who was out on assignment, but he didn't take Steve Psycho lines with him. Good to be here with you. Oh, I tell you, it's so nice to finally get a chance to work with a professional, JB. Do you say that when I'm not here? Yes, I do. I know you do. <laughs> all right, folks, in case you missed it, last night in Anaheim marked the return of two-time Cy Young Award winner Brett Saberhagen to the Major Leagues. All right, JB, after a shaky start in which Sabes gave up four runs, Right here, he freezes Ricky Henderson with the fastball. He also walked three and struck out three in the game. He didn't give up any runs in his next three innings. Earlier, we talked with Brett and asked him just how long it would take him to get back to his Cy Young form. Next year is a big test. Uh, I'm going to give, uh, give, give, I'm only able to throw 85 pitches uh, through the rest of the year at any given day. So uh, I need to give my ch myself a chance to be able to go out there and throw 110 pitches, 120 pitches, and uh, try to get 27 outs. No doubt about it. Awfully good to see Saberhagen back on the mound, Steve. Well, before this guy was hurt, he was one of the game's best pitchers. And, you know, he said he does not want to be mediocre. He says, if I get into an ER, ERA situation where I'm in the mid-fours, I'll quit and leave the game. But you know, there's a lot of guys that make a lot of money with their ERAs in the mid-fours. And hard to walk away from that kind of Ooh. money indeed. Yeah. All right, folks, time now to send you out to your game. Some of you will be seeing the Yankees and the Mariners, while others will see the Boston Red Sox and the Angels. Enjoy your game. A beautiful Saturday in the Emerald City, Seattle, Washington, and a sellout crowd of better than 57,000 on hand at the Kingdom for this showdown series between the defending world champion Yankees and the Seattle Mariners. And a pleasant good afternoon to you. Alongside the former Giant All-Star, Bob Friendly, I'm Tom Brenneman. What a ball game today. And Bobby, the Mariners and the Yankees, it's turned into one of the great rivalries in all the American League. Well, going back to the 95 Division Series, a tremendously exciting series when the Mariners knocked the Yankees out of the postseason. Not to mention the fact that a lot of players on the field today have played for the other ball clubs. So a lot of feelings down there on that field. And ironically enough, the Yankees find themselves in a better position to make the postseason as a wild card team than the Mariners who are in first place in their division. It should be a great race. Seattle coming in with a two and a half game lead. The Yankees running away with a wild card. Great teams, great stars here in Seattle. They say Junior's the MVP. In New York, it's Tino. Junior after these messages from your local Fox station. You're watching Fox Saturday Baseball Game of the Week. 